Kasi nalamangan, peace talks na daw. <laughs> Ngayon, gusto niyo makipag-uusap. Ito yan mangyayari, guys, ha? Magpipeace talks. Pero may sagupaan na mangyayari. Bakit? Kasi ang mga duwag ang lulusob sa army. Kasi, syempre, yung army, peace talks daw, eh. So, may truce. Walang sagupaan. Tapos ngayon, they will try to catch the army and all the other forces involved na medyo nagre-relax ng konti kasi peace talks eh. No more! The Philippines should not negotiate with terrorists. Basang-basa na kayo, beshi whip. Ako ako sa'yo, stick to your red lipstick. Kasi sing pula ng red lipstick mo ang nakikita namin na red light dapat sa pakikipag-usap sa inyo. No more lambing. Ubusan na yan. Ingat! Did you know that if you support a communist party and become a CPP NPA terrorist and fight in the mountains? But once you get shot and die, do you know that your comrades leave you alone? Yep, you are gonna be left alone by the people who recruited you. Well, the army that only deems to defend themselves will have to pick up your dead body and bring you back to your family. Isn't it great? They recruit you and take you away from your family, but they don't even have the decency to return your dead body. Just in case you didn't know that, but <laughs> now this is the honest truth. Okay? So just in case you decide to take up arms and go to the mountains, uh-huh. Remember the face of who recruited you because that won't be the face who will return you back to your mother when you die. Yourselves may be inconceivable. You being awoke and not actually being awake will only drive you to your own deaths. But sure, if that is your way of dying, then please stop saying that you are dying for this country because you are not. You are dying for yourselves without a name and with no proper memory. You will not be martyrs or heroes. Your stories will not matter to the future generations. Nobody will remember you. They can't even have the decency to wrap you up in a proper blanket or have you embalmed. It is the people that you need to shoot at. The army, the police, that you kill. The same people will have to find the dignity for you, the terrorist. Ironic, isn't it? So wake up now. What kind of mother would risk her own daughter for a cause as futile as this? Sure, it is in your thinking that you don't own your children. Of course, none of us own our children, but we do not have the right to serve them up. Your daughter was not a combatant. And you expected her to fight against one of the best armies in Asia? That's the type of thinking and ideology you would serve your own daughter. So what now for the rest of the daughters and sons that you illegally recruit? Is this the kind of thing that you even pin on gut Andres Bonifacio as something that he would have supported? You are kidding yourselves. You are killing the future of the Philippines. You are killing them. At 22, she lost her life for a lost cause. Yesterday, my initial reaction to the death of Javelin Kolyama was that of grief. Of a woman that was wasted because of an ideology that is backwards, outdated, and dead as a doornail. But after reading the statement of her mother glorifying her own daughter's death as a hero of the Lumad, I beg to disagree completely. You are not heroes. You are the ones causing problems for the Lumads. You are the one oppressing them. You are the one driving them out of their land, killing them by the family line, and depriving them of proper education in order for them to defend themselves. It is you who is the problem of the Lumads, not the army. Your own son spoke against you about the lies you told about the army. And I just want to make that very clear that what you did is inconceivable. Nakaligo na ako pero hindi pa rin lumalamig ang ulo ko sa mga nagdadrama. Ang galing makapagdrama. 
takot na takot kang ma-red tag dahil madadamay ang pamilya mong buong-buo, komportable at mayaman. Pero hindi mo inisip yung mga pamilyang winasak mo sa mga taong nirecruit ng partido ninyo. O may isa ngayon na matay, batang-bata pa sa ormok, anong isasagot mo ngayon sa nanay niya? Matagal niyo nang nirecruit, nung September pa siyang nawawala, tapos namatay siya this morning. Kumot na lang ang nakabalot sa kanya nung inuwi siya sa nanay niya. Sagot, Amega. Iyak, Amega. Baka naman pwede niyong padalhan man lang na pamburol, pambili ng kung ano-anong kailangan ng pamilya niya. Yun na lang delikadesa, konsuelo di bobo sa pinagagagawa niyo. Sa akong mga bibis di ha, gusto mo appeal sa CPP, NPA, MDF, na magpailad pa mo. Nahala, laban. Pero huna huna aha nga ka ng tao nga nagpa-char-char ni mo o pasulod sa imo anang hukbo para mo saka ka sa bukid, dili na mao ang mubalik sa imo sa imong mama o kung kinsa may imong mabiyaan aning kalibutan na. Kung maburus ka sa sulod sa kampo sa NPA, ang imong anak mauna imong ipadako sa iya ha? Nga makipag-away, magtago o dili sa apil sa kalambuan sa kalibutan kung di siya ang mahimong salot o problema? O kung mamatay ka, di po na sila ang magpalubong sa imo. Ilubong ka na nila para wakay marka. Kung makuha ka sa polis o army, swerte ka. Kaya mabalik pa kang tarong, tagaan pa kang respitar, na ipalubong o tarong sa mga tao na imong gigira. Di ka mawawa na. Kung akala mo na sa pakikibaka mo, sa ideolohiyang patay na patay na dapat, mamamatay ka, naiiwan ka ng mga taong nag-recruit sa iyo. Iiwan ka ng mga kasamahan mo at tatakbo silang palayo. Magtatago sila at kakalimutan ka nila. Kung masugatan ka lang at madadala ka pa nila pabalik ng kampo, sige, bibigyan ka nila ng lunas. Pero pag ikaw namatay, ililibing ka nila sa isang shallow grave na walang marka. Pero kung namatay ka naman at makukuha ka pa ng army at polis, ibabalik ka nila sa magulang mo. Ikaw, na yun pang bumabaril at gumigyera sa army at polis. Sila pa ang magbabalik, magpapaburol at magpapalibing sa'yo. Galing, no? Convenient. Dahil dyan sa prinsipyo mong baliktad, baluktot at mali. Teach your children about the ills of the world so that no one else can brainwash them. Okay? Teach your children that evil doesn't always have to look bad. It doesn't always have a red face and horns, okay? Evil sometimes is the most innocent face. Remember the wolf in sheep's clothing? Yep, they exist. They are often people who talk nice, are nice, pretend to be nice, but are evil and will cost your children's lives. They will say everything. They will do everything. They will make your children feel like they are important. So imagine, imagine what your anguish will be. If these people will only recruit and use your children to fight a war, they will never be able to win. Teach your children about the ills of the world so that no one else can lie to them about it. Parents, it's up to us. We teach our children and we save them from these types of evil. Stop having children. I have no problem with you fighting against the government until you die, but please stop having children. Because your kind shouldn't even be allowed to have children at all because you use your children. You use your children as a, as a human shield first and as a part of a ploy and a lie that has to stop. Please stop propagating and multiplying because you are the evil and the cancer of this country. Not only are you unattractive and evil, you are multiplying because of rape. Because of love, oh, it does not exist because none of you are loyal. All of you are liars and deceitful traitors. And you expect to have meaningful relationships in your organization? <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> if the world is rotting because I'm back on TikTok, I didn't complain that you're on Twitter being, being an ugly little twat, even if you've already showered. If the world is rotting... So it's rotting with the truth? And if you think that the world is healing by me not being on TikTok, then does it mean that Twitter is better because you're in it? Oh? And what have you achieved exactly? Hmm?
<laughs> Except being disappointed that even without my effort, my TikTok got recovered. But you, nobody cares what you think on Twitter. Have you become rich by doing that? Oh, right. Because you're on somebody's payroll and you could lose your job tomorrow. Because being a Filipino is free. But being a cockroach, all you're meant to die. <laughs> Did you know that the way the CPP, NPA, NDF terrorists attack or recruit is that they will find you and they will choose you from a specific profile that you fit in. If you are sort of different but really brilliant and your family doesn't seem to understand you, oh, you're going to be perfect. They are going to take your weakness and use it to their advantage. They will use every possible lie in the book and they will say the right things. They will make you believe that you belong and that you are courageous and brave. They will make you think that you are important, but they will never even care whether you have a comfortable life while you are in their organization. They will make you feel like you are meant to do something, but all you are is meant to die. And the sooner you wake up, the sooner you will be saved.